Now, the leader of the Liberal Democrats has told his programme his party would build infrastructure such as new schools and GP surgeries in order to deliver 380,000 homes a year in England if they win power. On a visit to Kent as part of the local election campaign, Sir Ed Davey declined to say how many of those homes would, we, would be built here in the South East. We will be hearing from all the main parties ahead of the local elections next month. But first, our political editor Charlotte Wright reports on the Lib Dem leader's visit to Tunbridge Wells. Blue wall across Tunbridge Wells, across, across yeah. South East of England and further is in our sight. Digging for victory, he hopes. Today on the local election campaign trail, the Liberal Democrat leader paid a visit to the site of an old cinema in Tunbridge Wells. Derelict for decades, it's now been demolished to make way for a retirement village. But what about house building elsewhere in the southeast? The Lib Dems have committed to building 380,000 homes a year in England. That's 80,000 more than the government have committed to. How many of those homes would be built in the southeast? Well, here in rural Tunbridge Wells, we're building more homes by working on brownfield sites that have been left derelict for years by the Conservatives. And I think there are brownfield sites across many towns and cities uh, in the southeast. Not enough to deliver 380,000, though. Well, 380,000 is across the whole of England. Uh, and so what I'm saying is, in sites, even in rural Tunbridge Wells, this wonderful town, uh, there have been sites like this where we are, we are able to build you know, huge numbers of new homes for people desperately uh, needed. Housing will be a key issue at the local elections next month. In the southeast, it's controversial, with many agreeing more homes are needed. But there are major concerns over the loss of green spaces and pressure on infrastructure. How are you going to build that many homes when communities we know often object to developments in their area in the southeast? Liberal Democrats is a community-led approach. And what that really means is we ensure that the infrastructure that people want to see, whether it's on the transport and water, whether it's on GPs and schools, that that, that infrastructure is built at the same time. The Liberal Democrats currently run Tunbridge Wells Council in coalition with other groups. This year, every seat on the council is up for re-election at once, and this party want to take a majority. So what matters most to those who live here? I think housing. Housing is a huge issue, especially for younger people, affordable homes. They need to do more affordable things for people. That's the thing, because I mean, people trying to get on the ladder these days, it's not easy. And I've lived here for years and Tunbridge Wells has, has really gone down and it's and like with the precinct and the uh, Royal Victoria Place, all the shops are empty, There's so many shops empty. Schooling, uh, recreation spaces and the like. I think they should do something with the high street because I think this could be a vibrant high street and there's just so many shops that have been closed and there's areas that need redevelopment. Uh, is this a councillor? <laughs> <laughs> yes. The Lib Dems are hoping they'll take more than just baby steps to power here in Tunbridge Wells but they'll be competing with candidates from a whole range of parties and independents on polling day on May the 2nd. We'll be hearing from the main parties over the course of the campaign and you can find a full list of candidates on the council websites. Yeah.